Well, we're back for episode two of the Harley. Uh, this one's just going to be a small one. Going to show you the little bit of damage that was done to it. And an explanation, a little further explanation on what it is we're going to be doing with it. Um, the owner still isn't 100% sure on exactly how we're going to end up finishing it, but hopefully we'll uh, do a few extras. But the main thing is get the engine uh, issues figured out, repaired, get it ready to go back in, and do further tidy up on the uh, wiring. Uh, wiring was done, uh, although better than original, it still was done a little quicker than I usually like, uh, mainly because, of course, he wanted it available to drive. So, didn't be, it wasn't able to take all the time I wanted. I'd like to strip the wires right out of it and start from scratch, but we'll see how that goes. Anyway, now on to it, just to show you the few odds and ends that are broken and bent and damaged. Um, as I said, it's nothing major, uh, mostly cosmetic and bolt-on. Uh, worst thing is the engine. So let's get on with it. Now this is the left-hand side of the bike. It took the most damage. That's the side it landed on. Uh, this is the brake master cylinder. As you can see, it's taken a little road rash. The arm itself was broken. Um, the pin, I believe, is broken as well. This can be repaired, uh, but we'll have to decide whether we want to go through the issue of um, filing, polishing, doing all of that, or just replace the cylinder, uh, which will come with a new arm anyway. So we'll see about that. The signal light obviously is broken off. It's been smashed right off of its mount, so it will have to be replaced. So while we're at that, I'm going to have a look at replacing it with LEDs, something a little more modern looking, but still keep in tune with the bike. A uh, little scuff on the headlight. Once again, I'd like to replace that. Um, we'll see what the owner has to say. I'd like to see this bike in really nice condition. It's a beautiful bike to start with. We'll see how it goes. Now the tank, it is a flat spot, as you can see there, where the badge used to be, plus it's taken a major amount of road rash. I would say it's probably cut the thickness of the metal in half. So it's a matter of whether we're going to just fill that and have the tank halves repainted. Uh, Problem is, I don't know, yeah, they show up. It has factory ghost flames. There's no way you're going to be able to match those flames. So really, the whole bike should be painted. Um, once again, he's thinking he doesn't want to go through that expense. Um, but we'll see where it goes from here. I'm going to get a price on it anyway, full paint. And who knows, maybe we'll do something custom. Um, primary case, just the cover, a lot of road rash, that's going to have to be replaced. Um, once again, could file it, sand it, polish it, uh, have a nice polished aluminum primary cover, but... I think it's just as easy to buy uh, a cover, maybe get something with some etching on it, make it a little fancier. The battery was, had uh, one of the posts broken off of it, and it's unfortunate. It was a brand new, extra heavy powered battery for this bike. So that'll have to be done again. Now the pipes aren't too bad. It's not visible. Um, scoring along the bottom. Uh, nothing at all on the top that's visible. So 
and this bike has, the, the pipes on this one do have nice sound. A um, little loud for my liking, but it's a Harley and a Harley owner, so they like it with the straight pipe sound. This one's a little mellower than that, but not a lot. Saddle bag was torn off. It's the leather bags that came with the bike. Um, we'll see how that goes, whether we replace it or just repair it. Um, they're a little dried up and and uh, tough, but um, they were original on the bike, so it would be nice to keep them that way. Other than that, as you can see, the tank on this side, the uh, covers, nothing on this side really took any damage. The other side took all the damage. So that's pretty much our uh, tour of the damage. Um, oh, I did miss uh, one mirror. The lens is broken. Uh, that's an easy fix. Just get the local glass shop to replace the lens. Um, I like these mirrors. They're, uh, they have a nice wide view. Although I would like the arms to be a bit longer to get it up past your shoulders. Uh, when I drive it, I'm fairly wide, so I have issues seeing around myself. But it's good for showing the lanes beside you, and yeah, you can catch half of whoever's behind you at least. Um, so that's it. That's pretty much the tour of the damage. Um, roughly what we're going to do. He has been talking about doing a wide tire kit on the back. Um, not going to go crazy, not going to have one of these big steamroller tires. Maybe go up to, uh, I don't know, 260, 280. You know, something bigger than what Harley puts on. Uh, my 400 Yamaha has a bigger tire than's on this bike. Uh, Harley loves their narrow tires for some reason, uh, which is surprising considering the torque and everything that a Harley engine will put out. But it seems to work for them, so we'll uh, just improve upon it. Thanks for watching and uh, keep in touch. The engine hopefully will be coming out this week. Um, thought I'd be farther ahead, but as usual, life gets in the way. You know, so I've been down for a couple of weeks with migraines. Um, an issue we'll run into a lot. So we'll see how she goes.